Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. Hope you all are doing well. This is our third session. As you have already read the title, today we will discuss what is system landscape. In a very simple words, the sequence of all servers layout is called as a landscape. The SAP system landscape is a group of a system you have installed. All the systems are linked to the different transport route to the main system which is your PRD system. Now the system landscape may vary from organizations to organization or from company to company. Okay, These three are the landscape of any company like literally any company. They organize their office in this similar fashion only. Now this system landscape consists of the three servers. Okay which is dev, QAS and PRD. This is nothing but the abbreviation of development, quality and production respectively. Now let's dig deep more into how SAP makes the use of these servers. Now as everyone can see in this diagram, the first server which comes is your development server. Here the functionals can do all their configuration part, the ABAPR, BI, BW and technical teams can do all their coding stuff in this de uh, development server. And in the very same server, the unit testing will also be carried out for the developments. Once the development is completed, the technical team and the functional both will save their changes or the requirement in the TR which is known as transport request. The TR is used for moving all the changes from one server to the another server. Okay. Now these servers may have more than one client. That is one for the development and one for the configuration and one for the testing as well. Okay. Now say for example in the development server itself I am having more than uh, one or two clients. Uh, like 100 client is used for the configuration, 110 client is used for the development and all and 120 client is when used for the testing purpose. Okay. Now if you found the testing okay in the development we will move that changes or the objects from development server to the quality server with the help of TR. Okay. Now the quality assurance system where all the developed objects will be tested with the different test cases or with the different scenarios okay and if we get the desired output we will proceed further or else if any bug found or something like that we will ask the ABAPR to do the uh, changes uh, accordingly and again the same process will be carried out like the develop developer will make the changes in the development and save it in the TR and that TR will be proceed uh, that TR will be taken to the quality server. Once we are satisfied with the output the functional person he'll provide the training regarding the development to the client like how exactly the process will be once the client is also satisfied with the output we'll move all those tr in the production system the production system it is a live business system where business user will be using the objects with the real time data this is where the developed objects will be integrated and used for the business purpose okay now this was all about the system landscape now one thing you should keep in mind that the request will flow from dev quality and production it will never flow backwards okay and one more thing that this SAP system landscape like the diagram you're seeing right now is also called as a three system landscape which is a recommended landscape okay now there are two more types of the system landscape two system landscape and one system landscape let's get to know about them as well okay now the two system landscape the functionality of this is very similar to the three system landscape but only one major difference here we will not see the quality server okay a two system landscape is an alternative for the smaller SAP implementations where uh, little workbench developments takes place. Like those who don't want to invest much in the SAP implementation, they can go for the two system landscape where uh, they'll not get the quality server. Only servers they'll get is the production and the development. Okay. Again, the uh, flow will be from development to production and not from the production to development. Now there are disadvantages of using the two system landscape as well like no significant development testing and training activities occur at the same time in the com when the Q uh, development and QA are combined in one system itself then only few modifications can be carried out in the SAP uh, to the SAP standard so the SAP prefers to use the three system landscape type only now last but not the least let's see the single system landscape this is also called as a one system landscape wherein 
all the systems are combined together in the one like quality development and prd all are in one system the sap does not recommend a one system landscape containing all the central clients in a single sap system at all okay all this development uh, testing and the production operation all these activities are uh, like they all run in the parallel in this system the best advantage of this is mainly in the reduction of uh, hardware and support cost but this does involve some serious problems and risk in it and uh, another disadvantage would be like whenever we have to apply the sap note which are the most critical objects in the sap like it can directly make impact to your standard objects will be directly applied in your production system which is like way too risky because of which the sap don't uh, recommend you to use this one system landscape okay now i guess that was all for this video i hope you all have understood what is a system landscape if you have any queries you can any time comment down below i'll happy to solve all of them we'll meet in the next session till that bye bye take care